I am the terror, I am the night, I am Alpha Omega Sin, and I'm coming to you out there in YouTube land with my third episode, whatever the fuck, I don't know, it's World 3 of my Let's Play of Super Mario 3D World because, damn it, I can and I will. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it will be good. You will play as Mario, you will do it now. You belong to me, that's why you are in my living room. So, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go through this pipe. Go on, get your ass in there. And remember, do not shove cat people inside of pipes. They do not like it. They do not like it one bit. As a matter of fact, it will make them quite grumpy. And we're in an ice world. Ice world, ice world. And cling, 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 ding, 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 ding. I like the noise that it makes when I run across here. So, let's get our asses over to here. And let's go inside of this old world. Well, the weather outside is frightful, but inside it's so delightful because I'm playing Nintendo Wii U and I'm doing a Let's Play. Now, one thing that I want to say... Uh, actually, I kind of like this. Look at the little snowballs everywhere. Yay! This makes me think of, uh, there's a horror movie called Jack Frost. And, uh, and there's also, uh, kind of like a lovey-dovey one with, uh, Michael Keaton. And, uh, <laughs> that's not to be confused with the horror movie Jack Frost. But there's definitely a scene where he, like, fucks a chick in a bathtub. And it's probably one of the highlights of the movie. The movie kind of sucks ass, but, I mean, he, he definitely fucks a chick with a carrot. You know, if there's gonna be a reason that I say go check out the movie, it'd be for that alone. I mean, he, he porked her with a carrot. Come the fuck on. Like, I, I know that there's plenty of, like, random fucking porn out there that you can go and get the same exact thing. And does that look like whenever you're doing it real fast that he's hitting the question mark box with his ass? No, that's kind of weird. At least that's what it looked like to me. I, I do like the fact that they now have Christmas-themed versions and snow versions of some of the Super Mario characters. Ooh, what do we got here? Ooh, what does this power up do? And yes, I am busting out some DD from Dexter's lab. Oh shit! Oh, dude, this is kind of neat. This reminds me of uh oh man, what the fuck is that? Uh, the the shoe power up from Super Mario. Damn it, I can never remember the name of that thing. But people would use it to uh get across like all, all the little spiny plants and. Uh, all the fucking piranha plants and stuff like that. Damn it, I can't remember the name. Fuck me right- Oh, did anybody else see the little 2D uh, Luigi pop out of there? That was kind of neat. It reminded me of, uh, no, on the one stage, whenever there was a- uh, Oh shit, I have to be really fucking careful. They're like, I got your number! I don't want you to have my number. How? Um, it reminds me of the one stage that had, like, the Super Mario uh, ape it version. That's kind of cool. Wonder if these are just Easter eggs. I really feel like I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna get it. Oh, who got it? Oh yeah! Look at that, man. I'm a bad motherfucker. I'm a goddamn helicopter now. But I'm gonna keep rolling with the cat suit because I really like the cat suit, and because you know Peta's like very anti Tanoki. So anti Tanoki sounded like anti Noki in a lot of ways. So. <laughs> Peter's like, we don't like people that get laid. Oh, yeah, caught you, motherfucker. He's just like, oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna fucking juke and jive. Juke and jive. Juke and jive. Aw, oh, shit. Speaking of, like, getting juked and jived. Alright. Let's tail swipe. Bam. Now, I don't know what all abilities that this power-up has. Does anything do any... Anything different? I wanted to see, since it's like full Tanuki suit, I want him to like turn into the, uh, oh shit, I just got fucked up. You want some? Asatu, you want some? That uh, makes me wonder like if they would have like the little indestructible, um, what you call it, the indestructible statue option where nothing could really fuck with you. I always like that. Like, I, I remember whenever I was younger and I didn't think it was all that big of a deal. And I was just like, oh man, you could turn into a statue. What fucking fun is that? Meanwhile, you know, turning into a statue was actually pretty rad tits. Because it was like, all of a sudden, then... Uh, oh, land on it. There we go. Um, you know, you could, like, 
be hit by virtually anything. And it wouldn't do, like, dick all of damage to you, so that's pretty fucking cool. Course clear! Of course it was cleared. <laughs> My score says 69! Ah! <laughs> Alright, now that I'm done being amused by that. Oh yeah, 46 green stars and counting! I really hope that everybody's enjoying the uh, fact I'm doing Let's Plays on the channel and stuff. They have been stuff that I've been wanting to do for eons. You have no idea. Anytime I saw people... Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, press minus to access the map and travel to worlds you've already visited. You can also use it to check out your stamps and your green store collections. Alright, good shit. But, um, I, I did. I always want to do them because, in a way, it was, it was kind of cool because I could just shoot the shit for, like, a long period of time about anything that I wanted and semi-sort of kind of maybe review the game in a way and talk about as aspects of it that I like a bunch. Like, I like the fact that that Bowser statue just blew the fuck up. Uh, but we got a boo house here, so we gotta roll the boo house first. Hopefully I don't fail like a motherfucker on here. Shifty boo mansion. Dun dun dun! Da -da. It's kind of crazy to think that Kirby, one of the best characters within Nintendo franchise history, started out as uh, nothing more than like a boo. And I always thought that was kind of neat. All right, let's go and get this power up. Of course you can't catch on fire, you fucking Casper-looking motherfucker. Well, except for Casper doesn't actually look anything like that. Dude, that's really fucking awesome! Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, I gotta avoid these guys to all hell. Holy shit, this is fucking disorienting. But this is kind of cool, I like this. Then again, it did say shifty, so I guess I, I should come to expect that. But uh, that, that's definitely paying homage to Super Mario 64, I would say. Oh, look at that! Look at that! See, it's kind of nice whenever you find like some of the secret shit like your first time through, and you're like, Yeah, bitch! Oh, wait, I should have went back. Oh, can I still go back? I don't. I just don't want to run out of time, because I know that there is uh, that one set of stairs that uh, I could go down. So I'm gonna try to go back without uh, losing a whole shit ton of time. All right, so let's go over here, and it's just fucking coins. God damn it! <laughs> oh well, at least I know that now. Oh wait, so we got this over here. Uh, a whopping 1,000 points for everybody that's keeping track. Cause he got a high score, man. Excuse me, booze. I gotta go. But yeah, man. Fucking Kirby used to be a boo. And whenever you look at him, it all starts making sense. It's like, holy shit, he really is. He's just a pink boo who just so happens to be cannibalistic. That's still cool. I respect it. Oh, fuck. I wonder. Let's see if uh, I can get up there. Aw, oh, come on, you can do it. Fuck, hold on. I think I can do this. I need to do a twirl jump and then I'll like a wall jump. I might be able to get it. It's just hard to do that spinning jump right here. Fuck. It's so hard to do this like on a single block. I'm gonna lose so much time doing this. There we go. I did it! <laughs> and all it did was just that. I just got extra time. So I wasted time like a motherfucker doing that. Oh well. Let's see. Is there anything else over in this area that I may want? It does not look like it, so I'm the fuck out of here. I'm sorry, but I'd rather have this right now. Because it's not like any of the booze can be effect- holy shit. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away! Give it away, give it away, give it away, give it away now! Give it away, give it away, give it away! Damn, you're persi persistent. Look at you, you're all stuck and shit. Oh wait, there's like a little one-up over there. I don't give a fuck about the one-up though, for all it's just like, why the fuck am I really gonna care about this? Alright, let's go inside the pipe. Oh, damn! They're like, ah -ha! Go up here... Nothing. Let's see, let's let these blocks come out and see if there's anything above it. And... of course not. Float, 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 Mario, you can float! Chubby little bastard. There's chubby little fucking Italian legs again. Nothing up there? Okay. Ah, oh, what do we have here? 
Well, we got a bunch of coins. I just want green stars. Honestly, that's all that I want right now is green stars. I know damn well that I'm passing up green stars more than likely, but damn it, it's my first time through the game, so I at least have that excuse going for me. Excuse me, folks. Well, at least they're really happy about their job. They don't seem to mind whatsoever that they just have a menial task of going and staying in one spot, smiling their asses off and shit like that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Look at that boo out there just hanging out like a fucking creeper and shit. All he has to do is like the heavy breathing and bring a fucking thing of, uh... Up, 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 where's this taking me? He just needs to bring a thing of lotion and fucking toilet paper with him. Uh, and stand outside the window and just be like, yeah, Mario. Like that. Alright, so it does look like they end up missing one of the green stars, but I'll go back through later on at some point and find them. I don't think I'm doing too bad finding the stuff for for a, a first try. Get going! Oh, they definitely had me there. I was just like, yeah, I did it! And they were like, no, you really did it. But it's cute that you thought you did. All right. I, I always did like a lot of the haunted mansions and uh, haunted houses that they included into the Super Mario games. What I wish, though, was that they included, uh, I think it's Super Mar it's either Super Mario Land 1 or Super Mario Land 2, but they have, like, that entire haunted land. Like, one entire world just dedicated to, like, a little fucking horror theme. And I love that so much. As a matter of fact, I think that's something that they should try to indulge in a little bit more is the, uh, the Super Mario Land games and try working on some of those themes, because they had so many things to them that were unique, and I always thought that was cool. And I think this might be one of those stages where you have to, like, switch to perspective, maybe? Captain Toad makes a splash! Yes, it is. It is one of those stages. But yeah, but honestly, Nintendo, if you want to go and do something, fuck around with Super Mario Land. That, that would be, that would be fan fantastic. Alright, so let's let's try running. Holy fuck, that gets nerve-wracking. Because Toad doesn't move very fast whatsoever. But I, I genuinely hope that everybody shares my sentiment and how awesome Super Mario Land on Game Boy is. Because they really are. Alright, let's go this way. Now, I have no clue what this one-up mushroom is going to do. Oh, it's just points. I thought that might be, like, an actual power-up or something. You know what? I think that I should go up here for this. Come on! Up! No, damn it! I wanted you to go up. Oh, well. We'll just... We'll just go back. There we go. Yeah, for some reason, I couldn't get him to go up the first time. I probably just wasn't uh, pressing it in time. All right, go Toad, move those little legs. You big batch of fucking disappointment, always fucking with Mario fans. All right, so I can't go in there. How the fuck do I get in there? Hmm. Now I'm trying to see. Ah, there's another pipe. Oh, well, don't I feel like a fucking retard? All right, now how do I get down onto that pipe there? There we go. See, it's nice figuring this out with people watching, because they're like, I, I guarantee you there's probably people at home like, No, this way, go, go that way, go that way, you can do it, Alpha! All right, and there we go. Go on up. Yay! Alright, so this is going to change up the dynamics of the stage. We'll walk out here, get this green star. And walk out here. And try our gameness not to fucking get hit. Let's see. Going up here? Hell yeah! Awesome! We got all the green stars! Woohoo! Yeah! Course clear! Fuck yeah! Also, those buttons on his shirt make it look like that he has big flat jack titties. Just, just saying, just putting that out there, don't give a fuck. 
Sweet. All right, so we we went and exceeded the 50 star mark finally. Woohoo! Get your ass in there. All right, let's see. Now where can we go? Well, might as well go to this day. Oh, hold on. I want to hit this. Bam! There. Busting your cranium, bitch. Now, I definitely think that I want to do, like, little single video Let's Plays where I don't go completely through uh, the stages of uh, whatever game it is. Like, I would like to go through, um... Oh, nice, I got the, this power-up. Uh, I've really been wanting to go through, uh, like... Some some games that I, I actually have played the crap out of, unfortunately, and they happen to suck really bad. Like, I tried doing a Let's Play of uh, Bubsy, which I consider to be one of the worst games I've ever, ever, ever played. Because it sucks. Like, it, it, it really fucking does. Like, anybody who's played Bubsy can attest to the monumental failure that it fucking is. Bink, bink. All right, let's try crawling up. The oh shit! Shit! Oh fuck me, dude! I thought I was being slick there for a sec. Weren't being that slick, now were you? Okay, so let's give ourselves a power up. Get your bitch asses away from me! Yeah, that's right. Going back for the coins. That's right. All right, so we're gonna have to go and collect some of that stuff again. Oh shit, that was actually close. Yeah, unfortunately, sometimes whenever you try doing some slick maneuvers, that shit ain't oh, gonna work out. I didn't realize that he shakes his butt. Holy fuck, did anybody else notice that? Because I now just no Oh my god, fuck! Holy fuck, that was close. I was like, no! Dude, I'll, I'll, I'll give him credit on one thing. Like, holy shit, that, that up, oh, here comes the part right here. Let's see if I can do it. Alright, uh, see, it's a good thing I have the cat suit on right now, or else my ass would have been fucking grass. Most definitely. Now, I'm sure that there were some secrets over in the one part, but I'm just gonna have to live without them for now. Oh, fuck. Go on, get your ass up there. Time precision jumping. All right. Cat scratch fever. Dun, 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 dun. Cat scratch fever. Oh, ha, 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 ha. fuck me. Too bad. Damn. Damn that 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 definitely made me eternally sad face. All right. So we gotta get ourselves another power up. So I'll give them credit on one thing. They they definitely make some of the stages. Pretty fucking challenging, especially if you're like me and you're like, I gotta get everything. Alright, so let's go and fuck with that, and this time, we're gonna be a little more careful about it. There we go. See, that's all I had to do last time. I, I fucked that up so hard. <laughs> oh shit. Wrong way. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm sorry if I randomly become quiet on some of these parts, because holy shit, because it's like going so fast at times, you're just like, oh man, I can't fuck this up, I can't fuck this up. Alright, so let's see here. Well, I guess I'll just go up this. There we go. So, I did it like a fucking champ. <laughs> you know what I can't wait for? A new Metroid game. I've been dying for a new Metroid game, and I'm talking like... I want to see Metroid Prime 4, because I thought that they did a terrific job with those. I mean, so many people were skeptical when those games first came out, until, you know, they actually played them and realized, wow, this works really well in first person. No shit, I'm, I'm actually impressed, and I was impressed, I know that. But I, th I did, I like I liked it a whole lot. Other M, I couldn't really get into nearly as much. 
But um, I, I would. I would like to see another Metroid game. It's just one of those franchises, you know, it's... You know, it's sci-fi, sort of, kind of, in certain games, like, with that horror theme and stuff. And I like that, because it, it's like they're they're pretty damn serious um, series, you know, and a lot of stuff that they have. I'd also like to see Nintendo really do something with the, uh, uh, what the hell do you call it, the Fatal Frame series, since they've got the exclusive rights to it. That's been something, like, it's just bugged the shit out of me that they've pretty much just let it do nothing at all. Get back here, fucker. Bam! Give me my star. Thank you. Thank you! Got coins going up my ass, but that's okay. I'll just, um, oh, I'll just imagine that it's a change purse suddenly. Huh. Cannot hit that. I'm assuming maybe I have to have, like, a certain power-up for that. Keep in mind, again, I don't know, <laughs> like, certain aspects to it, so... Excuse the ignorance. Alright, star time. Star power. Blue steel. So many people hated the Zoolander movie. I don't know, I actually found it pretty fucking funny. I am pretty damn stoked about the new Anchorman movie, though. And I know it's not gonna be as good as the original... But it's just, I want to see more from it. Like, I really did. I, I love that movie to death and then some. Like, the very first time that my friends went and showed that to me. It's like, I think this single-handedly might be one of the funniest things that I've ever, ever done diddly did see. And I, I know that I was running up the clock there, but... Hey, I, I beat it. Got 14 seconds left. Fuck you! I could keep getting coins if I wanted, but it was just going to lead to extra lives. Like, you know what? Actually, speaking of movie-type things... um. One of my all-time favorite movies ever, ever, ever in the history of movies is Fight Club. I heart that movie and then some. It was actually the very first DVD I ever purchased, too. That and The Crow were the very first ones. I bought them the same exact day. But, um, they're making uh, a, a sequel to it. Like, the dude that wrote Fight Club is making a sequel, but it's going to be in graphic novel form. And I'm really, really happy to hear about that because I love the book, I love the story, I love the movie especially because uh, I watched the movie well before I ever even knew that it was a fucking book and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, the idea that it's going to be in a graphic novel works really well for me because, I mean, I've got a shit ton of graphic novels, i got a shit ton of, you know, comic books and stuff like that. And who knows, if it does well, maybe we'll get to see some more stuff um, happen in Hollywood and it'll turn out to be just as good as the original. I would like to see that. E even despite the fact that both Brad Pitt and Edward Norton are, like, older now, to me, that doesn't mean shit. You know, both of them are still excellent actors and fucking awesome. And both of which have, have uh, been in a bunch of my favorite movies, like, of all time. So I'll go and give them credit on that. Pipeline Lagoon. All right, let's see. What do we got around here? Let's go up to the palm tree. You know, weird fact, never got to see a palm tree in person. Oh, fuck me running. Motherfuckers want some? Yeah, I've never gone to travel to anywhere that had palm trees before, and this stage is goddamn pretty looking. This reminds me of some Super Mario Sunshine type shit. Yeah, I never got... I, there's a lot of places I never got to travel to. Like, hell, I, I've never actually, like, officially been to the beach before. Which really sucks, unless you count Lake Erie, but I don't count Lake Erie as, like, uh, g going to the beach whatsoever, because if you've ever been to Lake Erie, yeah, it's 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 not exactly the most fun thing in the entire world. And I, I was pretty damn young whenever I went there. Let's see, let's just go inside here, I don't care about the power-up right now. Do, 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 do. Butt pound! Butt pound! And that's something that you don't want to hear when you go into prison. Fuck me running. Into the pipe. Alright, let's go into this pipe instead. Nothing there. I do like the fact that Mario isn't running out of oxygen. Like, it, one of the most horrifying themes in all of video games, I will say without a doubt, is uh, the theme that starts playing when Sonic is running out of oxygen. Holy shit, if that's something that I heard while I was swimming, I'd probably start fucking up really bad. I'd be like, oh, oh, oh fuck, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. <laughs> like, 
that kind of shit, man. That that's just nerve wracking. Oh my god. I I will. I'll give them credit where credit's due. That's something that it's just it it makes you scared and want to hurry up. So kudos to Sega for doing that. Oh, that's what we need right there. Now that's the stuff. Now you know Mario is not somebody to fuck with. Whenever he can cast underwater fire, just saying that. That's not the ombre that you're trying to go and be like, yeah, yeah, buddy. I'm going to do some shit and piss you off. Because he doesn't give a fuck. To begin with, one, he can just go and get a star, become invincible, and just run into you. Like, continuously keep bopping you. Forever and ever and ever. And every time they bops you, it's a bad day. Oh, shit, what do we got here? Come on. Underneath. Yeah! Alright, let's see. Boom! Oh, the return of Christopher Walken. Boom. I like to go inside there. Well, holy shit. What do we got here? We got ourselves a green star in piles of gold coins. Oh yeah. And we got ourselves a little bit of extra time, so let's go and get that, because that's like a hundred extra seconds. There we go. I'm outie. Outie bowdy. Rowdy, rowdy! Boom! Come on, come on. Now, I like that. Oh, yeah, but, so how I was talking about Super Mario land on Game Boy before. Another thing that I wouldn't mind seeing them return with that is, uh, oh, what the hell do you call it? The little side scrolling uh, shoot em up stages. Those I liked a whole hell of a lot. Here, let's go and get this so we can run up the pole. There we go. Biggity bam! 10,000! But I, I like those little shooter stages. I mean, even though they weren't a gigantic big deal, but it'd be cool, you know, if they included that and you could get a power up that's like a fucking R Wing or some shit like that, you know, throw Star Fox in for the sheer hell of it. Um, I don't know, you could make like cameos from Mario Kart and stuff like that. Or even make that a thing into Mario Kart where you can start shooting shit and treat it like uh, Space Invaders and stuff like that. Oh, we got ourselves a slut machine. Saving. Save complete. Alright, you know, I'm gonna go to the slut machine for- Ah, uh, ah, uh, fuck it, I'll go over here first. dum de dum de dum 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 Pwam, pwam, pwam. Waha! Now, this looks like a Mario Kart stage. Mount Mustache. That sounds like a really nasty horse porn thing. Just throwing that out there. What's up, chick? Nothing? Don't got shit to say? Whatever. I don't got shit to say to you either, buddy. Alright, so I'm assuming that we just fucking book it through this stage right here. Now this I can dig. This is kind of cool. Oh, fuck, until you get messed up and look like a damn fool, boy. Let's see. Now I'm assuming there's probably more stuff uh, depending on what path that you take, but I'll, I'll go back to it at some point. Give me this power up. Thank you. And now we're going down a really awesome slide. Oh, I missed them. Fuck, I really want to hit all of them because I like the little combo sound. That stuff makes me happy. Oh shit, he is like super fast. Now what, bitch? Ho oh, ho! Two seconds left, too. That was kind of close, admittedly. <laughs> that was one of those things like, oh, no, 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 no! Woo! See, it's a good thing I got the cat suit on. Because <laughs> if I didn't, my ass would not have made that. That much is fucking certain. Oh man, I went right around them! Fuck! Fuck me running! And that was also pretty close. Aw, oh, did you see the green star? Because I saw the green star. Oh well. There is always next time. Damn. And you know damn well that had to have caught him in a taint. Mario's a fucking trooper, though. Doesn't give a shit. Goes through all this fucking hell and back for a bunch of, like, li little mystical fairy chicks that just showed up out of nowhere. Because Mario doesn't care. 
And on top of that, you know damn well that Peach has blue balled the shit out of him. Because he's like, yeah, I can't wait for some of that fucking Poontang pie. Meanwhile, she just serves him up some fucking cake. It's like, man, Poontang pie and cake are two different things. The Rock taught me Poontang pie is definitely the shit that you want to roll with. And that's also when I love wrestling the most, was there an attitude error. That shit was awesome. The Monday Night Wars, oh my god, I fucking love that. Getting to go see uh, ECW Live was probably some of the coolest shit that I ever got to see. Admittedly, if anybody got to see ECW Live, you know exactly what I mean. Like, there, there was nothing like it whenever you went there. There's like CZW and shit, but it's, like, it's totally not the same. Alright, what the fuck is this guy here? Boy, what is your major malfunction? Well, I don't know, but I have a 1-up, and that makes me happy. Nah, give me give me that power-up. There we go. Let's see, is there anything hiding around here? Guess we can go take a look at the stage, right? Oh, damn. So, the goal's all the way down there. So, we'll actually be traversing downward. Excuse me, pardon me. Out of my way, home slice. Mm. Fuck. Okay, there we go. As soon as those bees showed up, I was like, Not the bees! Not the bees! Kelly me won't bring back your goddamn honey! I have no clue where I want to go, so I'll just go over here, go over here. And I guess, uh, try to swim? Try, uh, being the choice word. And he definitely looks like something from a car wash. So I'm gonna leave his fuzzy ass back there, and I have not come across a green star yet. Damn, that makes me feel sad. Sad and depressed. Oh, woe is me, life is not worth living if you don't have secrets within the Super Mario Brothers universe. Oh. Follow the buzzards, or in this case, follow the gold coins. Oh hey, what do we got down here? Dun, 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 dun. I guess for now I'll go and stick with this. Actually, you know what? No, I I've learned my lesson that the cat suit has definitely saved my ass on a ton of occasions, so I'm gonna stick with that. And that might be the case for many people watching this. The cat suit is definitely like pretty fucking own. I mean, it's no P-Wing or anything like that. Oh shit. I thought that I'd get there in time. Oh well. Yo, what now, bitch? Gonna fucking make me lose my power up? I don't think so. No, actually, I, I guess it would think so, because it did make me lose my power up. Excuse me, give me this, give me this. Fuck, 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 get it! There we go. Excuse me, bees. Nobody wants to deal with your cockamamie bullshit. Yeah, that's right. No, oh, that felt kind of cool. Oh man, they are not affected whatsoever. They're just like, Pfft. don't know what the fuck you're thinking, boy. Like I was thinking that I was just gonna keep going through. Damn, they just went into a fucking header right there. Oh shit! I thought I was fucking dead right there. I was like, no. Now, I got to get me Green Star. Oh, I missed one. Oh, well. Shit happens, right? Let's go on to this one here. And I'm really glad that I did. Holy fuck. I need to go onto there. Nope, 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 nope. Back down. There we go. Can I make it? Well, I got 4,000. That's not so bad. Oh man, what else would I would like to... Like, I know that I have to finish up Resident Evil 2, but oh, I'm trying to think of other games that I think would be really cool. Like, I want to do a bunch of survival horror games that, that would be kind of fun, but I also want to play through an RPG. I don't know if I'd want to play all the way through, but I mean, there's some RPGs I've been wanting to go back into, like, desperately. Like, I've wanted to play back through uh, Shadow Hearts on PS2. I've wanted to play Final Fantasy VII quite a bit. I actually... I got um, a 
quite a few requests, like, whenever I first started to play Final Fantasy VII, and I was, I was legitimately kind of shocked by that. I was like, huh. But I, I guess, you know, most people are probably like, yeah, we know he's a fan of RPGs and stuff, and that's, like, one of the biggest ones out there. I don't give a fuck what people say about it, you know, being, like, overplayed and overhyped and shit like that, to me, you know, it's fucking awesome. That's all that there is to it. Let's go in this way, but, yeah, and I, again, I haven't played both in such a long time, so it would be pretty damn cool to go and do that. Save complete! I'm trying to think, what else have I really been thinking about going through? I wouldn't mind going back through Breath of Fire 3, that would be kind of cool, because it's been a long time since I played that, and um, I actually haven't talked about Breath of Fire a whole lot on my channel, except for whenever I did the rant video about Breath of Fire 6. And that stupid bullshit fucking Capcom had to pull, man. That, that just fucking bummed me out so bad. It does, because that's like a series that I truly give a shit about. Because it was one of the er it was the first... Breath of Fire 3 was the first PlayStation 1 RPG that I ever, ever got to play. So it's me, you know, it was like, that, that shit's sacred. And I know plenty of people out there will have, like, those games that they hold near and dear to them. As like, you know, do not fuck this up whatsoever, I will be so pissed if you do. And Breath of Fire 3 most definitely is that, and I cannot believe that they have cat ears bullet bills, like, running around. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Fuck me! Need a power-up. <laughs> and then some holy shit. Dude, that, that was getting pretty fucking intense. Yeah, here. Goomba. Goomba, Goomba, riding with Roomba. And I definitely did not mean to do that. Death Perception got all fucked up there. Alright, so let's just run through some shit real quick. Dude, do you even want some? Big fucking bullet bills don't want none of Big Mario, I'm telling you. You fuck with me! You fuck with me, hombre! You get the horns! Now, I don't know how much longer that I have with this, but I want to knock at least one more pipe around like a bitch. Oh shit! Okay, well, maybe it does want to fuck with me, because it totally did. Alright, I'm little mini Mario right now, and that's totally not a good thing. Because I have a feeling I might get my ass killed. See you, dude. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm getting out of here. Alright, so I really think I might end up getting killed on this part, so... Oh, and she's got a fucking ninja star. No! Alright, I can't handle some fucking ninja shit like this. Damn you! There we go. So I guess that's the um, one that's like a darker shade. That's the real one. Alright, got one more. Shit! Oh, that was so fucking close. Like, I seriously almost fucking got hit there. <laughs> oh, damn. Like, you know what? And I'll say this again. Like, no matter what people say about Mario, whether you love it or hate it, like, I, I genuinely get excited about playing these games and, like, thoroughly enjoy the shit out of them. Like, you know, somebody could go and chalk it up to you know, fucking, like, childhood nostalgia and stuff like that, but I really just feel that they're fun games. And I hate the fact that when, like, a lot of people try to say, oh, that's like kitty games and shit like that. I'm like, dude, are you serious? Because last time I checked when I was growing up, people just viewed Mario games as games. They were something anybody could fucking play. And this blue-haired bitch with your, your fucking big old shit-eating grin, you're happy as fuck that I saved you, being all fucking mini and stuff. But anyway, yeah, Mario games? No, they're not for fucking kids. If anything, it's a lot more impressive to make a game that can appeal to an entire audience. I'm talking like... Little ass kids, teenagers, grown adults, and even the fucking elderly can play this. Whether you're a fucking jaded, like, asshole out there who just doesn't like anything or anyone, you at least can merit some entertainment and amusement out of playing games like this. And this isn't technically a rant, it's just one of those things like, you know, it's how I feel about it, and I always have felt that way. And I felt this way, like, I'm talking even while growing up, I felt that way. Let's go see what the next world looks like. Dum 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 dum. Biggity bam! Oh shit, I think this might be a cutscene. What's going down? 
So is this like its own stage? What? What? what I mean, what is the deal? Oh damn, I'm like stuck in here? For real? Am I? Oh shit, a banquet with a histocrat. Ah, oh, shit. Well, considering the fact I have no power-ups, I'm probably gonna get my ass marked real fucking hard. But we'll see about it. Anything going on off in this section? No? No secrets to be had? Hey! This looks like it could be a power-up. Yay! Thank you, Mega Mushroom! You just made my day. You bought me at least one fucking hit, so that's kind of cool. Don't worry, I'm not going to jump. Now I am! Ha <laughs> ha Alright, so what's the deal with the dealio here? Holy shit. Oh, wait! Okay, maybe this is kind of what I needed for that one area I was trying to fuck with. Now, how the fuck do I go and get my ass around? Bam! There we go. Alright. Now I get it. Yeah, remember that one thing I was trying to butt pound in uh, a couple stages ago and it had the little crown logo on it? So maybe I gotta beat this dude or something? I'm just wagering a fucking guess here. Oh shit, did not know that was gonna fucking happen there. Alright, so at least I know what the fuck will happen if I take too long. Spinning time! Yeah! Oh fuck, now that I didn't expect. All right, let's crawl all the way up. Oh, damn, no, we, we can go on top of this one over here. Fuck me, he went down inside the dirt, damn it. Oh shit, there is stuff dropping everywhere. Damn, trying to do this last third one right now is like, kind of rough stuff. And I keep making like stupid ass fucking uh, choices like that that are fucking getting me hurt. Go on, up. You fucker! Damn it! I was like, oh, I'm so close! Now, crawling up them is kind of hard, so... Alright, this time I'm just going to platform my way up and quit trying to climb up them, because that shit is definitely not working out for me. Alright, so grab that. There we go. That fucking third one took long enough, right? It was just like, dude, fuck! Keep on missing it. Alright, we'll go and get all these coins and get another one up. That's not too shabby, if you ask me. 185 lives. You know, I think I got some fucking life insurance and shit going for me. That, that, that's definitely nice to see. Leave my little kitty paw prints all over the place. Alright, let's go and get some more time on Death Clock. Death Clock! Bow, 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 bow. Death Clock! I really want more Death Clock music. Just saying, just putting that out there. I fucking love the shit out of them. I think it's funny because Death Clock is like one of those bands that was like a lot of people's first introduction to death metal and stuff. If you're gonna listen to death metal, start with Cannibal Corpse. Well, Cannibal Corpse and Deicide, that, that, that was my, my introduction to death metal. Then naturally went from there and gone to a whole bunch of other bands. But those are two bands you should look up. As a matter of fact, there's a new Deicide album coming out. I haven't gotten to listen to any of the tracks off of it just yet, but uh, I am very much looking forward to that. Unless it's out already. I'm super bad with release dates and shit like that. Do -do 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 -do. I love the fact that I'm talking about Deicide in the midst of playing like Super Mario Brothers on Wii U. It's like only fuck Campbell Corpse and Deicide, you don't say? Only here on the Alpha Omega Sin YouTube gaming channel, let's play Theme and Bob Jig, whatever the fuck you want to call this. But anyway, this will be the point that I stop here. Um, again, thank you for showing up and watching this shit. What, listen to me, Bantron, talk about all, all sorts of random shit that you know, I'm interested in stuff like that, and watch me do pretty damn good and then fail, but not give a fuck because I'm having fun and that's all you're supposed to do with your games. So anyway, 
This is Alpha Omega Sin, as always, nerds, nerdettes, and gamers. Game the fuck on. And yes, I have the horns up right now, as if you can see it, but it's it, it's part of me. What the fuck can I say? 